in your community. This is KRBZ, Abilene's Local News at 6. Good evening. I'm Samantha Jones. Thanks for joining us. 2019 is just around the corner, hard to believe, but that does mean it's time to start thinking about next year's budget. Let's start with the facts first. A number of new tax increases will go into effect. The Taylor County tax increase and those paying property taxes in the city of Abilene will see an increase as well. The new street maintenance fee will add to monthly water bills, and 12 more dollars will be added monthly after the AISD school bond passed on Tuesday. KRBC's Katherine Garcia sitting down with an Economist who gives his prediction of how the $138 million school bond could pay off in the long run. She has our top story tonight. McMurray's Dean in the School of Business, Dr. Paul Mason, giving his opinion on the newest cost affecting Abilene ISD taxpayers. It's a very significant positive thing up front that is paid for over an extended period of time uh, by relatively minor allocations per individual or per household. Saying because Abilene is a smaller community, bonds such as AISDs can be positive for the city's economy. If you live in New York City or you live in, you know, in Jacksonville, Florida, where I came from, uh, more of the purchase of the bonds will come locally, which actually reduces the benefit because that's less money that's flowing into the community from outside. Dr. Mason theorizes a chain reaction because of the district's plan for newer facilities. Better school buildings will attract potentially better teachers and uh, the additional funding that's available because of the new schools may increase the quality of the programs. Some of these programs possibly affecting the town's job market. Certainly the CTE high school will revolutionize the offerings for those students who are more technically oriented than they are academically oriented and that will be advantageous and that will increase our uh, potential workforce. Ultimately impacting the next generation. You're building schools for children who will grow up and become uh, citizens of Abilene who will then in large part be buying homes and renting uh, places to live and and paying off the bonds for the schools that they went to. This possible chain of events starting with just a bill in your mailbox in 2019. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.